Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So with a new patch, brings new features, new exciting things, and today we have a lot to look at, not in the form of blocks, but a lot of little features that will really improve our gameplay experiences. So the first thing is grouping. Now we've got lights on this station, and if you've ever had to light a station up with different colours, you'll know how tedious it is going through each light and setting the colour. Now, this is no longer a problem. So if we go over to our little gyroscope over here, we access it, we've got a number of lights. So we've got two lights here. Now I know these are the ceiling lights, and if I press shift click, I can select them both. And what I can do is change the colour, and if I change the colour on here to whatever, it'll affect both of them up there. So I'm going to turn them on, and then I'm also going to name them. So we're just going to call them top, T-O-P, oh, topo, and then save it. And then it adds it to the there right at the top and anything we do on this one affects both of them so we'll leave that now and you can see both our little lights are on we've got this nice blue sort of hue very nice now we've got these lights at the sides and i was thinking we need some sort of warning lights maybe some red that can flash when we're under attack and they can be off at the other time so let's group them up so we go back to our little console and we interact we drag them up with the shift click and now we turn them all red. So we need to turn them all red, all scary, scary looking reds. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. And now with the red affected, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. So let's do a little bit of a test. Let's save that as the red lights. So on our whole station, if there's an emergency, we can put them on. So all the people on our station will know. So we'll save that. And you can see we've got red and top. Now, it's not an emergency now, so let's turn these red lights off. But let's have a quick look first. So, yeah, we've got the emergency lights there. Now, we hop back over, and we can see that all the red lights are here. So, we're just going to turn this off for the moment, because it's not an emergency on our station. It just makes it so much simpler with that grouping. You can also get a little bit more complicated with it as well. Now, let's move this up to a little bit of a different level. Let's talk about adding and removing, and let's add this to a little bit more of a complicated level. So, we've got this door at the end. This is an airlock we're in right now. So, every time this airlock is activated, we need to have the red lights on. So, this is how we're going to do it. So, at the current moment in time, this airlock's unactivated. We can't open the airlock. But now, let's try and activate this airlock. So, we're going to have to go to here, and we would see how it says red. We've set it to red. We've got the door added, but say we don't want the door anymore. We hold control and we click off it and it disadds it. And then you hold control and then it re-adds it to your list. So now we've got on and off settings and we're going to resave that. And if we turn the red on, I think we need to rename this to airlock, don't we? So airlock, like so. And then that is that group. That's a separate group now. So you could even have your lights and your airlock separate. But we could get rid of that just by simply hitting that cross. Now, to turn the airlock on, we should have red lights activated. And that door is on the ready like so. Very nice. Very simple. Very effective. And it's a very nice way of grouping things. So the next thing we're going to look at is landing gears. Now, there's been a slight update to these. Now, the problem was before is if you press P, it would literally unlock every landing gear or lock every landing gear but now they've added another feature so i'll show you this get into k now if you go to your landing gears i've already grouped them up up there but you can actually see each landing gear has a lock and unlock setting so that means if you're going into land like here i've got henry i've got two sort of sidewinder sort of missiles on the side just cheap missiles that can do a little bit of damage with a warhead on the end and I'm coming into land. Now, the problem is, what I'd usually do is I'd end up losing one of my rockets when I'm coming into land, or my rockets or something, because I need to activate the landing pads below. You can see how I've got my um, little landing gears down at the bottom. Now, they're active, but they're not on. So what I need to do is go and find landing gears, switch them on in a group, and turn rockets off so my rockets don't accidentally detach. So now, with a simple press of K, just make sure I've done this correctly. Yes, and yes. Rockets are off, landing gears are on. And lock them in place. Absolutely beautiful. Now, say I want to use the rockets. I don't have to fire both rockets anymore. Like previously, you'd have to release every single landing gear, so it'd be a one big strike. So if we get back into these controls, and we unlock our landing gears, we turn them off, and we get back onto our rockets and we turn them on so we're going to take off now 
Now, currently I've got it set to fire both rockets, but what I'm going to do is just show you how you can make it fire one. So I'm going to turn around and we're just going to drift slowly back to the target, or back to our little home, you could say. And I'm going to set up one rocket to fire. So before you're on the attack, the attack run, what you want to do is access your rockets. So go down here and then you want to turn one off and then leave one on. So one should release, the other one shouldn't do anything. Should just sit there and be ready for the next attack run. So we'll bring this bad boy back around, line it up with the target, and it should be simple as pressing P to release this guy. So I'm going to press P, and there he goes. Off he goes into the target. And there we go. A nice little bounce back as well. Like I said, a cheap little rocket. And we've got the second rocket to fire, so we'll do that one while we're at it. And now it's as simple as going into the menu, landing gear, rockets, and the one that is off, we need to turn on. So all we have to do now is just line up this with the target. I mean, it's a little bit of menu work, but it's still bringing that little bit more of a feeling. So that rocket's away, and that rocket's missed completely. These need a little bit of gyro stabilization, but the idea is just to make them cheap so you can do a bit of damage and keep them cheap and affordable without adding loads of accessories on. Anyway, let's move on to the next feature. We're here in the Land Raider world to show off the last new feature, and that is the rotors having a reverse function. So I'll just quickly get onto this, get down here. I've grouped up all my rotors, left, right, left, right, left, right, into two nice little packages. So we've got left track, right track, and if I hit this, it will reverse the velocity. So I'll be able to go in reverse. So let's try that out. So I'm just going to begin driving forward by activating my tracks. Right, we're moving forward. Everything seems to be working. We're just going to get over this first bump and then we'll activate and see if it reverses our tank. We'll see if it works and see how well something like this could be put into practice. It'd be good for something like doors as well. You need to close a door after you. You hit the reverse bu button and it's good to go. So that tank's doing rather well. So let's try pressing reverse, reverse. And there we go. We're actually reversing the Land Raider that simply. Now that, that's just that's just took half the workload. Imagine back in the day, what you'd have to do is you'd have to set each individual rotor. Absolutely beautiful. And we're getting into a bit of a, a stucky situation there at the back. So let's just hold up the tracks and just check what's happened hopefully we've not been detracked no we're all good just must have been me a bit paranoid so let's set them back to forward forward and off we go back on our adventure so thanks for watching guys and make sure you check out the new patch i'd love to hear your thoughts and i'll see you next time